All right, it is Friday morning. I'm going to be going off to work very soon. What a beautiful sunrise we have in the sky. The chickens are out enjoying it. Haven't fed them yet. It's coming, girls. Anyways, what a beautiful sunrise we have. And my goal is to come down here this morning and see if the swarm that was in the top of the cherry tree yesterday, which I don't even know whether or not I told you about it, has left. I couldn't reach this one. This one was uh, this one was up high. And I still see them hanging up there. I will show you as soon as I get down here. They are right there. Can you see them? I'll put the light on it there. Yep. All right, so here's the situation. The army hive has swarmed. And it looks like every bee that they've got in their colony has piled out. Now, I did not think that that hive was capable of swarming because that hive only had one medium box filled. The bottom box was almost empty last time I was in there, and I haven't been in there in a while. I need to go in there later on today, I think. But I looked all over the outside of the box with the queen, could not find her. So I actually put some reducers in, choked off the hive, and then looked around some more after the bees calmed down and figured, okay, if the queen's still in there, I'm going to split the hive once they relax and call off their swarm. Well, that was a half an hour and they never relaxed. They were still flying around. So I looked around and I actually found a bunch of bees that were on the side of this tree. There's only a few left now. And another pile of bees down there on that stump. Well, the interesting thing is, is I found nothing here, but I did find the painted queen, the army queen. She was down on that stump. So I grabbed her in a clip and I dropped her into the bottom of this little hive. And then I grabbed a handful of bees off of that landing board there and dropped them onto this landing board. And now these girls are in there and they are fanning. So I have captured that swarm, which means that the population in that hive is still a sizable population once they all go back inside. And these girls right here are a nice small swarm. I'll get them over on the bench and life will be good. That was amazing. And all of this, why that other swarm is still in the tree. They've been there for two days and through a rainstorm and let me tell you when i mean rainstorm i mean rainstorm it was a deluge this morning everything's flooded but that ball of bees managed to stay up in the tree so i'm going to think about ways that i might be able to get it down i don't know whether that's going to happen if i can come up with a way then i'll do it i'll film it and you'll see it if i can't we'll just have to wait for those girls to leave and i'll report back then so there you go the army queen now lives inside of that green box excellent and the army bees, well, they're all over the outside of that box. I just now opened the gates and let them back in. So there you go, there you have it. What an exciting afternoon. This is how you know when you've got the bees. Look at those girls marching. They're marching right up into the hive. Beautiful, beautiful. Going in there to take care of their new queen. Look at their old queen. Old queen is the same as the new queen. New queen is the same as the old queen. Look at that. Army Queen is now living in a green box. Bet she didn't expect that to happen when she flew out this morning. Unbelievable. That hive is still doing what it's doing, but this hive, this hive has a new queen, and I think that's all the bees that I'm going to add to this hive because I still want a strong hive for gathering resources. Excellent. All right, so here's what's uh, here's what's going on. This is the uh, the garden, by the way. It's uh, it's coming along. Hi, chickens. Anyways, so the last thing we did, and I thought I was done, is we caught the queen on a clip back here in the back on a little stump, and then I moved the queen into that little box with a bunch of bees. Even gave them a couple of handfuls of bees let some bees march up a ramp into that hive and they did and everything was great and then after everything calmed down I thought hey okay I'm gonna come out here and I'm going to take the queen out of the clip let her run around on her frames with all of her bees and everything would be right with the world but I got in here and there was a queen clip in the bottom with the queen in it and it was the army queen she was painted and she had about I don't know 20 bees with her all inside the clip all on the outside of the clip no one else was in the hive everybody else had left I'm assuming they came back over here. Now, here's where it, gets, it just gets interesting here. Now, I moved the queen and the clip from that hive, the little green hive, 
over here to the bee castle hive if you remember when we went through the uh the swarm inspection which i believe was last week in your chronological timeline of, of watching the videos that i film um we went through all of these hives and there was a laying worker inside that hive so i actually took some brood out of that hive and put it in here and when i just popped in here i saw that there were a bunch of nurse bees on this frame taking care of the brood i did not see them building any queen cells which surprised me because i did not find a queen in that box i still do not think that there is a queen inside that box because there was an awful lot of brood comb now that queen has been moved into this box inside of a cage so that they can't get to her and i'm hoping that her pheromone because she is an experienced queen with an experienced pheromone will make the laying worker stop and allow her to take over the hive I do not want a laying worker in that hive, and I also do not want my army, my army queen to be whacked. So there you go, and there you have it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here to the army hive, and I'm going to add a super, because all of those bees that were swarming are now back inside this hive, and I'm going to checkerboard the super so that they feel like they have a whole bunch of empty space. There's still a ton of bees out here, it looks like they're trying to swarm again. What are they doing? Don't do it, girls. What are you doing? I have no idea what they're doing. They don't have a queen to swarm anymore because the queen is over in that box. Anyways, we are going to set this. We're going to set this this camera, this phone, up on a tripod, and we are going to go ahead and checkerboard this hive. I hope that you are able to see me. Because I won't be able to tell. All right, let's do this. Now, I don't know why they're outside of the hive. It looks like they're trying to swarm again, and I don't know why. There's an awful lot of buzzing going on around here. Probably shouldn't open this up. But I'm going to, because this is, this is how I learn. All right, ladies, here we go. We're coming in. Don't get crazy. I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt. No stinging the bug farmer. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, here we go. Lots of bees. Lots and lots and lots of bees. Let's see if we can checkerboard some frames here and give these girls the illusion of more space. Holy moly. Okay, this hive is a lot more full than it was the last time we were in here. And what I'm going to do, you know what I'm going to do? The first thing I'm going to do is put this back on. Here we go. Then I'm going to peel the tape off. Bustly. Okay, this almost looks like another swarm is happening in the beginning in the front of this hive. I don't know why. All right, here we go. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over here. That box is very heavy. This box is packed. I'm going to put a new super right here. new super right there tons of frames you girls have a bunch of space now I'm not even gonna check her well should I checkerboard it I think I think I think what I'll do is I'll just leave this right there and put all the other girls right just right on top I think that's the plan okay no need to checkerboard it we're gonna make them feel like they have the ultimate space that hive box right there is heavy and I assume it's because it's got a lot of brood in it. I would do a quick inspection and show you, but for two things. One, I'm recording this on my phone and I don't know how much space is available on a cell phone because I generally don't record long videos on it. And two, I want these girls to calm down. 
Now, if the weather's nice tomorrow, I'll come out here with the real camera and I will film myself going through this box and we will have a look to see how they're doing. If it's crappy outside, we won't. All right. Well, I'll bet we have a virgin queen in this box. I will snag this brick. I will put it right here. I'm going to put it like this so that I know to check to see if this queen's been made. All right, so there you go. My very first video shot entirely on a cell phone. Now, I hope it turns out okay. I don't even know whether or not I'm in the shot here. I'm going to hope that I am, and I hope that that camera, that phone, that mic can pick me up all the way over here. It probably can't. Um, but there you go. There you have it. It's the only way that I can share this with you. The other camera, the batteries are dying. It looks like I have another swarm on the front row. I don't know what's going on over there. I don't know whether it is a swarm, whether it's not a swarm. Don't really know. I guess I'll go over there and take a look and I'll take you with me. But uh, anyways, if you like this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun. So with all that said, be happy and I will see you next week or the next time I have another swarm. Now, as we, as we go to music and we go to the logo, I'm going to carry the phone around here and we're going to see what's going on up here in the front because it looks like something's happened. I don't know. All right, let's see here. None of these hives are swarming right now. None of them. The Bee Castle hive with the Army Queen inside of it seems calm. Everybody is happy in there. Nothing crazy going on. Those bees are fine. Those bees are fine. These bees are fine. Those bees are fine. Those bees are fine. Okay, no swarming going on there. There's a lot of flightiness in the bee yard out here. Let's see here. That looks fine. 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 Everybody looks good. Sage is is hanging out, but that's certainly not a swarm. And these girls are still in the tree. All right, I have no idea why those bees are being so flighty, but there's a bunch of them flying around. Maybe there's another swarm up in the tree that I didn't see. Oh, well, there you go. There you have it. I will see you next time. Take care, be good, enjoy your bees.